Hi, this is Young Investor. Um, like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. Lately, I was talking about what I find on the internet, but I never really show you the websites or show what I'm talking about. So, this one I'm just going to look. Obviously, from my other videos, if you tell, please go click on them for Austrian for Homics. Um, collection I have, um, the air tights for them. Um, that's just a couple of them. I show my other collections on there too, such as pandas, the Australian coins, like the kookaburras, crocodile, go, go look at them, see what you like. But right now I'm talking about Austrian silver fahomics, one ounce. Um, I'm almost done with that collection. I got every year by 2010 and 2012. 2008 was the first one. Um, I just picked up a 2015, so I got the whole collection. I got it even for this year, so I'm done with that. But I got to pick up 2010 and 2012, and I'll have a whole set. So, I mean, the reason why I'm showing you this is just because I think the prices are very bad. So, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm on Wikipedia. I work in education. Wikipedia is not considered, you know, a good website. I'm not really endorsing it. I'm just using it as a quick reference, and that's what I think it should be used for. Um, you know, you can always find good resources within Wikipedia. Just don't use Wikipedia because it could be edited, like right up here. I can edit it and say these are the most bullshit coins ever. Oh, I swore I didn't mean to, but you get what I'm saying. Um, it's just bad to do that. So, anyways, um. I'm coming down to a mintage just to look at the, the mintage years. Don't get me wrong, these might not be correct. And they only go up to 2013. 2014 doesn't exist yet, which I don't know why. But I'll show you my second resource, which will tell you a lot more. So when I go look at the mintage, the lowest one right now, roughly, is 2008, which to me, Prices are very cheap on that. Very easy to get 2008. No problem. 2009, not a problem either. 2010 jumped up to 11,000. Like, you know, that's not the highest right now. It's the third. Um, first one's the 2011, then it goes 2014, and then 2010 in the first. Which, I mean, I totally understand the more mint is the lower price. So I'm like, well, then why is the 2010 is hard to find? Like, you just don't find them. And when you do find them on such on like eBay, which why didn't that go there? Ah, uh, okay. Well, I'll just use this one for right now. Oh, it's right here. Never mind. Um, here it is for 2010. It's thirty-four dollars, thirty-one. You know, and then goes up forty-seven. I understand some of these are sealed. You know, even this one. 36, I mean, thirty dollars and twenty-six cents. You know, there's nothing under, but I could find, you know, the normal ones for roughly between eighteen and twenty-three dollars. You know, twenty-four dollars. I'm just the prices are going up for these years for no reason, and I just don't see why. Like, you know, this one has a bid, but I don't need. The 2009, 2008, unless what, I take the 2010 out and sell the 2008, like, you know, I don't know. Um, might look into that, but, you know, all these, like, you know, look at the 2011. $10, ten, you know, two bids, 10 hours left, you know, and it will jump up to, you know, 20, roughly. I could just see how that happens, but, you know, and all that. Look at this one. 14 hours left and still at a dollar, you know, for 2011, you know, it's just, you know, it's crazy, you know, but, you know, and all that, so, I'm just looking at the mintage, and I'm looking at the mintage for 2012, too, it's lower, so I understand the price to go up, but really, I don't get this, because look at the prices on this, $32, 20 buy it now, 20 that actually might be a good deal. But I gotta see who it's from. But you know, thirty, you know, ninety nine or best offer, you know, ninety four and best offer, you know, forty eight, you know, it's just you know, seventy, you know, it's just you know, 
28, 29, okay, but with shipping, the shipping was horrible on this one. Don't even get me started, the shipping was horrible on this one. Um, shipping was like $7. So, you know, you're racking up $30, $40 by the time you look at it. So, um, I know the camera's moving, sorry about that. But it's just like, you know, it's just unbelievable how they're going. And like, Amazon, I ain't better. I mean, 2010 at 25 plus... You know, shipping at $5, you're back up to 30 and, like, no offense, this coin is really, let's take a look at that. $62 for a 2012 silver. It's like, it's ridiculous. Why Why would you pay that much for one where the mintage is so high? The mintage is 8 and 11. Like, these two are not really the rarest. Like, you know, I would see 2008 going that because that's the lowest mintage, and, you know... And I know people are going to say, oh, well, don't trust Wikipedia. Okay, that's fine. I won't trust Wikipedia. Here's my second source. The Mint itself. The Mint that produces. I almost dropped the camera. Sorry, guys. The Mint that produces. Look at 2008, 2009, 2010, 2012. It doesn't have 2014 off the yeah, either. But it's like, look at 11 and 8. 2008 should be much more. 2008 and 2009 are cheap to get. I don't, I just don't understand why the 2010 2012 years are so hard to get. They're not found or they're outrageously priced. For what reason? I mean, the coin didn't change its look, you know. I mean, the design's good, you know. These coins aren't really a big collection and, you know, in the States they're really not known. I mean, maybe elsewhere, but I just want your comments or your opinions. What would make these two years jump up? And these other ones, not. I just, I can't figure it out. And I go online and, you know, people say, oh, the Fahamics are a very rare connect collection. A lot of people like them. Well, if a lot of people like them, why are, like, you know, 2008s and 2009s and 2011s and 2013s and 14s and even 2015s are priced reasonable, but 2012 and 2010, they're skyrocketing. Like, I just, I don't get it, you know? Is it what... Everyone's like me and just skipped 2010 and 2012 when they bought the collection and now everyone needs them and they're not around. I mean, I don't, I don't get it. So what's your opinion? Comment, like, I know this video is getting a little long, but I just want to show, like, I, I do my research. So when I talk, I'm not some kid that's just talking, you know, I'm using Mintage, I'm going for their website, I talk about it. I mean, I look on Wikipedia to try to get the big um, like, the basic knowledge of it. Like, try to go here. I try to find the mint link. Sometimes the mint links are posted down here. That's what I try to do. I use this to get to somewhere else. Like, now I know where, what the Austrian mint is called and all that. And all that. And I'm also in their coin club, so I'll make another video about that. But anyways, have a nice day. Tell me what you think. Let me know why we're so expensive. And just... Maybe shoot me a link or something. Just let me know, and I'll bless you on the next video I make, and I'll give you a thumbs up for it, and I'll comment on your video, and, you know, I'll give you credit. This is Young Investor. Have a nice day.